Hi, welcome back to Human Reviews Pet Food. So it's about 2 a.m. I'm here in my basement. Oh yeah, look at that. And there's kind of these chunks of like different colored, different colored bits in there. This is a very saucy cat food. I may have needed a spoon for this. <laughs> I don't think you're gonna see me barf. That ain't too bad, it's like steak pudding, I suppose. Oh. Mm. There are those among us with a taste for the refined. Indulge in only the best. Dinner time? I knew that would work, Jimmy. You can have your fancy feast after you answer a few questions. This is my co-host, Castro, my beloved Havanese of 16 years, passed away, had him stuffed. Now I'm an actual crazy cat person. I have two pumas. <laughs> Love for you to review their food. They eat live antelope. How many videos have you made? about cat food. I filmed, uh, I guess, 18 videos so uh -huh. far. Why did you think this was a good idea? <laughs> well, it was always a bad idea, oh. but kind of the reason I started doing it was there's all these cat food and pet food reviews online, and they're kind of ridiculous because no one has any idea what the stuff tastes like. So you have all these people saying, my cat, you know, Mr. Fluffy, he'll only eat this kind of cat food. And so it's like if you had human food, instead of having restaurant reviews, you based all your reviews around your friend Tony, who was like the pickiest eater, and you just followed him around and said which restaurants he went to gave him gas. Okay, I, I, there's a few holes in what you said, <laughs> but I agree with one thing you said. Nothing upsets me more than when I'm at a restaurant and someone that I'm eating with ask the server, what do they like? First of all, they're a server. They probably can't even afford to eat in this restaurant. Now I'm gonna take their opinion for what I wanna eat tonight? Mm -hmm. I don't like that. Let me guess, it's all wonderful. But where, where, where this goes off the rails is you don't own a cat. I don't. <laughs> I just walk into the grocery store and I kind of, you know, I just say, ooh, that one looks good. How far can you spray your urine now? It depends on which can you eat, you know? Yeah, I mean, well, you, you gotta, I have started, you know, like burying my poo. You got long fingers. Yeah, yeah, I, I do. <laughs> you need a Zyrtec? No, I'm a Flonase man now. Flonase for allergies so bad you have to blast poison directly into your nostrils. <laughs> What's your favorite co-host that you've had on your show? I think I like Jeju, the black pig. Why have a co-host? Well, I just thought it was kind of just a fun thing to do. Okay, and you've got answers. By the way, a tall glass of water. How tall are you? 6'4". You and me both. Oh, all right. You don't look 6'4 on camera, and maybe that's because you're eating cat food and I'm completely distracted. I think it stunts your growth a little bit. Can you imagine how tall you would have been? 6'4", and you're thin. What do you weigh? Around 150. Do you do anything to stay that thin other than have a horrible diet of cat food? Yeah, basically, you just poison yourself and don't exercise too much so that you don't get ripped. Is it actually poisonous? It, no, it's not approved for human consumption. Have you told your doctor that you eat cat food? Uh, I have not. I, I don't know what they would think of that. I know what they would think. Yeah. They would say, hey, uh, you probably shouldn't do this. Yeah. Have you ever thrown up from it? I've never thrown up. I'm actually a little bit surprised. Surprised. What about your stool? How's your stool? <laughs> Seems pretty normal. I, I have had a, a tuna fart, I guess. Uh huh. Or you know, it just smells a little funny when it comes out. Sure, that that seems uh, that seems normal. <laughs> a tuna fart. That was uh, my wife's nickname in college. Why do you chew so slow? <laughs> hmm. I think some of this stuff's just really chewy. Uh, it just takes a little while to get through. What's the worst cat food you've ever tasted? The worst stuff I've done is Frisky's Savory Shreds. I called it worm turds. <laughs> Just imagine, instead of having a chunk of cat food, you've got the nice little slivers. The texture is really what gets to me with these things. Like, if you have a weird little pieces of grit within the cat food, that's what makes me gag, basically. Were you a picky eater as a child? Not really. Pretty much the only thing is I, I wouldn't eat bananas. Really? Uh, what about a banana pudding? Were there still chunks of bananas in ooh, the pudding? No, that's making me feel not so great. 
bakery. No, 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 Magnolia Bakery. <laughs> Magnolia Bakery. The ba now they have a chocolate banana pudding there, and then they have this brown sugar cookie. A little overpriced on the cookie, but it's so good. I have two of those on my walk back. What about banana runs, the hard candies? Uh, they're okay. I'm not a big fan. Ooh, I liked banana banana chips, though. I always liked those. Banana chips are good. What about a date? Do you like a date? Uh, the... The fruit, the yeah, dates. Um... The answer is no. Nobody likes dates. Not really. Would you ever eat cat meat? A tough one. Well, I've eaten some strange things. Chicken. Um... Chicken's not strange. <laughs> chicken feet. Oh, okay. Well, you gotta finish chicken. this statement. You can't just say chicken. I think I might, but... I wouldn't feel don't, very I, good about I, I it. I don't think you should. Say, I think you should say you would not eat cat meat. I would definitely not eat cat meat. All right. But I definitely would. Fair enough. When you go to a restaurant, is your first instinct to see if they have a cat menu? Uh, I usually ask for a doggy bag, at least. Why a doggy bag and not a kitty bag? I think because people feed their leftovers to their dog more than they do to their cat, right? You're 100 percent right. <laughs> okay. No, no, I didn't know that. But but when you said that, it was just like. Bell went off and I was like, he's f***ing exactly right. Do you see your YouTube channel as more of a hobby or a cry for help? <laughs> Maybe both. It's fun to see what new lows you can reach. Sometimes I'm like in a basement, it's the middle of the night, just eating cat food. Will you take requests? Yeah, I'll take requests. Okay. Do you have any requests? I do. <laughs> they call this the Meow Mix Suicide Smoothie Challenge. It's a real internet thing that I definitely didn't just make up. Good God. Mm. The smell from cat food. This one's dense. Now I'm seeing peas, that actually carrots. Looks like chicken noodle soup, right? Yeah, I'm gonna give you two, two of those. It's like an applesauce mixed with refried beans. Mm, it looks like f***ing diarrhea. What's that? Turducken. A turducken! <laughs> you ever had a turducken? Yeah, actually, apparently they're pretty big in Delaware. I used to date a girl from Delaware, I had cystic fibrosis. Pretty sure she's not with us anymore. Nice worms. Oh, that is foul ball, bro. Woo! I'm gonna do you a favor and not do too much. And top it off. Milkshake brings all the kitties to the kitchen. Meow, 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 meow. You having some of this? Well, I only made one serving. Oh. Bon appetit. Smells lovely. It's a little chunky, but not too chunky. You blended it pretty well. So it's not too bad. It's got like maybe a hint of carrot, a very strong uh, kibble flavor. Did I put too much kibble in it? I thought I put too much kibble in it. Ah! I'll give this one five meows out of five. That's a perfect score. If your litter box isn't full, it's about to be. Okay, my umas. The sound in this movie was incredible. I mean, there were parts that I didn't see, but just to hear it, it still felt creepy and it still felt tense. My favorite part of this movie was the sound. It helps to move the story forward. And from my point of view, I get to know what's happening just by the different music changes. So for The Legend of Tarzan, I'm giving it three out of four eyes open. Hey, Tommy. See, you're wearing the tux I sent you. How do I look? Dignified. And before we get started, I need to prove that you are actually blind. I've had a lot of YouTube stars lie to me before. Oh, jeez. All right, you are super blind. Tommy, thank you for coming. Hey, thanks for having me. So you don't constantly have a fear of bumping into something. Like, I've been blind my whole life, right? So I walk into stuff every day. It's, it's part of my everyday existence. Okay. Your normal's different than my normal, isn't it? Uh, my normal's god-awful. Oh, I know. <laughs> I've seen the show. <laughs> <laughs> 
You ever seen those Fast and the Furious movies? No. Are you kidding me? Why would I watch those? Because there's so much noise going on. I know, but listen, I could just open the door and hear that, couldn't I? <laughs> <laughs> is action, or is it like a fight scene, is that... Uh... Is that enjoyable? Sometimes yes and sometimes no. Like in a movie like, I don't know, like Fight Club, they don't really talk about the fight too much. You should just go to black theaters. They'll talk through the whole movie and tell you what's happening. <laughs> How do you know you're finished wiping? You don't put the paper up to your face and go, boy, I'm almost done. Whoop, uh, there's a little bit left here. So, so you just ballpark it, like that feels done? Yeah. I could have the cleanest butt in the world. It would still smell like ass. So smelling is out the window. Yep. Sometimes I wipe and I think, oh, I'm 100% done, that's clean. And I look at the toilet paper and oh God, was I wrong. Yep. Switch to Cottonelle for your final wipe. Can you flush them? Yeah, they're all flushable now. You learn something new every day. I'm so worried about your butthole. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only eye that I care about on you. The only one that works. Uh, you, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. You, you, oh, okay, so you heard someone laughing Listen. three blocks away, and you're proud of that? Yeah. Do you like it when people are extra courteous to you, or do you want to be like, hey, knock it off? Honestly, I think it depends. What about touching you? Do you want to be touched? I suppose if you have to touch me, go ahead, but don't try and grab my cane. That bugs me. Why? Who's grabbing your cane? You wouldn't believe it. I would. Go ahead, say I, it. Mexicans? You, dude, I don't know what they are. <laughs> you ever had a dog? I did. I see an eye dog? Yeah, yeah. What if they have to go to the bathroom while they're working? How do they let you know? He would sort of swing back and forth and then stop. Uh -huh. And then when he moved, I'd just reach out with my baggie and grab it. Picking up after, after your dog is so tough because you don't know what consistency you're picking no, up. No, you don't. And that's scary. But you can hear if it's a messy one. I hear, oh. And then I just, <laughs> I just leave it. I'm like, well, <laughs> enjoy that, everybody. <laughs> As well they should. You pay with cash ever? I do. All oh, the time. People rob you. No, they don't. Is the expression rob you blind insensitive? To rob you need a gun. It'd be to burglarize me blind. Huh. Burglarize means no gun. Robbery is a gun. I mean, I knew I was going to learn stuff today. <laughs> preferably about wiping, but now. <laughs> <laughs> Would you mind if I took my penis out during this interview? I'll live it up. I don't care. Too late. Have your buddies done that, pulled their penis out? No, I don't think so. Not that I remember. Are you kidding me? If what, you, you would do that? If you were hanging out with me, there's zero chance my penis wouldn't be out at all times just because it's great. <laughs> you have any pictures or paintings in your home? I do. Things that people have given me over the years. You know what it would be if I gave it to you? It would be my dick. <laughs> <laughs> I'd tell you that it was a beautiful <laughs> landscape. <laughs> and you'd have a dick of my, on your wall. Who are the most sexy sounding actors, both male and female? What's her name from, um, from La La Land? Emma I Stone. Emma Stone, sorry, I like her. That I like voice, her a lot. That yeah, voice. Yeah, that raspy voice and stuff, it's cute. You can't see this, but Emma Stone has gotten way too skinny. Oh, okay, all right. Jennifer Lawrence also sounds cute, I like her. Well, and because be, even though we weren't supposed to look at the photos that were I know, leaked, I know. she's trashy, so I liked it. And Clooney, <laughs> I suppose, has a nice voice too, right? Okay. Do you wink at people ever? Uh, no. You can't do one eye? Is that what a wink is? That's just you, one eye? Shut the f Are you? No one's ever discussed winking? Yeah, I, I never knew. I, uh, you're pulling my leg here. You, normally your eyes are open, and then you just close one of them. Oh, I don't know if I can do this. I'm trying here now. I, don't I know, know. It's, you gotta work on it. It's, it's, it's not easy. It's something that kids can't do. You have to, it takes a while to learn to wink. Oh, really? Kids can't do it? No, no, no. No, it's, it's an actual exercise. All right, you don't care, but I'm just telling you, we gotta work on your winking. <laughs> I wonder what your visions of, uh, of childhood cartoons, I wonder how accurate they are. I don't visualize anybody. So like, you know, Bugs Bunny is, you know, a bunny rabbit. He's, you know, just a, a rabbit who, but I, I don't know. But he didn't hop, he walked. He walked on his back legs. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. So he never hopped. I really feel like people haven't talked to you in the past 25, 30 years. <laughs> well, thank goodness I met you. If I could give you your sight back tomorrow, uh -huh. but, you had to be paralyzed. Would you take it? No. What about sight back tomorrow, but I cut a hand off? No. Finger? Uh, you're getting warmer, but no. Cut, shut up, I'm cutting. Dude. I wouldn't even ask if it was a finger. <laughs> I would just chop it off and say, <laughs> deal with that. All right, enough of the chit chat. Let's watch some movies. All right. I mean, listen to hey, some movies. Hey, hey, hey. By the way, I took all the money I saved on a screen yeah. and put it into the sound system. Sweet. Tommy, when you're part of the liberal Hollywood elite, one of the perks is you get all the Oscar-nominated movies sent to you. That way we don't have to go to the theater and get shot. <laughs> Technically, it's a felony for me to let anyone watch my screeners, but since your eyes are broken, I believe it's a victimless crime. <laughs> Everyone loves La La Land. Not me, man. I have no idea how it ended. 
swear to God. Because they never talked for the last 15 minutes of the movie. Wait, she I just, thought it was over. La La Land is basically swingers for broads. If I have to hear him mutter through, City of Light, All right, let's watch another movie. Okay. Manchester by the Sea. Go ahead, first thoughts. Loved it. You just liked a story that was more depressing than your own. <laughs> What he should have done is stayed back in Boston with that girl that clogged up her toilet with the poop. Oh, yeah. She At wanted the, She was totally into him. And totally. I was like, oh, baby, here we go. Also, <laughs> you couldn't see the part where he stole the cop's gun and tried to commit suicide. Trust no, me, it was he did? powerful. It was oh, powerful. I had no idea. OK, well, you missed some big things for you to say you liked I that movie. I guess I did. All right, next movie. Jackie. Oh, my god. Is that the way you felt? I didn't like it. It I, was pointless. It was pointless. And I thought she sounded more like Yoko Ono than Jackie Kennedy. I bet you wish you were deaf during that movie, because that accent was the worst thing oh, I've Oh, it was terrible. No one thought to tell her, hey, are you kidding? Let's try a different take. And, and it was mostly made up. I mean, there's some factual stuff there, but none of that dialogue ever really happened. None of that stuff ever no. happened. It's completely fixed. You know who I blame? Hmm? Lee Harvey. <laughs> Shot the wrong Kennedy. You ready for another movie? Yes, sir. Moonlight. Moonlight, I really enjoyed. I don't know if I got everything in Moonlight, but I think I got most of it. I know you don't see color, but remember last year during the Academy Awards how there was no black people nominated? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why they made Moonlight. <laughs> I can't watch another movie. My eyes are starting to hurt. How are your ears? What's that? Let's go ahead and make our picks. What movie do you think will be best picture? It's gotta be Manchester by the Sea. No. What are you talking about? I'm going La La Land. I didn't enjoy it at all, but Hollywood just loves to talk about Hollywood. Uh, they just care about that stupid uh -huh. shit so much. And now for the category I know that you can pick. <laughs> Best sound mixing. Gotta be Rogue One. I'm gonna go with La La Land because <laughs> Hollywood just loves to... <laughs> all right. Thanks for coming over. Make sure you grab an Oscar swag bag on your way out. It's complimentary, but I do have to charge you 10 cents for the bag. What's in here, delicious olives? No, according to LensCraft, that's the greatest gift of all, the gift of sight. I extracted a set of eyeballs from a stray cat. You know what's even more relaxing than a giant glass of wine? A giant glass of wine and a really good bar soap. Watch this. Oh! Look at that kind of quality. I am outraged. It's gone from a 4.25 ounce bar to a smaller bar, and that's across the entire lineup. The lather on this bar is a very creamy lather. I really didn't find the oats to be a necessary inclusion into this soap. When I got this out of the packaging, I really thought the scent would be uh, overpowering. But once you take it out, it's pleasantly milder. Hey, Daniel. Marvin, lose the robe and get in here. I've always said there's no better place to get to know a strange man from the internet than the indoor jacuzzi of a Hampton Inn. That's Hampton Alley. Why did you start reviewing soap? I kind of always had an affinity for soap, and then I figured, well, I'd like to share my sort of enjoyment of soap with other people. Where do you live? I live in Arizona. I'm from Phoenix. Oh, man, so you're always sweaty. Um, in the summertime, it is very hellish. Up. So soap is your thing. Are you getting any money from reviewing soap yet? Um, no, I don't bother with money for this. It's just a pure hobby. Do you have any other interests or hobbies outside of soap and robes? Yeah, I enjoy uh, paying attention to like the national debt crisis. Um, European politics. Uh -huh. Hey, y'all got room for a little big fella? Don't forget to take your socks off. Ah, no can do, buddy. I got a toe fungus. You want to see how long I can hold my breath? You never film yourself actually using the soap. And I thought about that in the beginning, but I wouldn't want to sexualize the channel. Is there any fetish element to this or no? Um, not for me, maybe for some of my subscribers, but... Uh... You ever been asked to uh, pick up a bar of soap? 
You know what I'm talking about? That's prison talk. Oh, oh. You know? Bar soap or bar of soap? I prefer saying bar soap. Okay. I've always said bar of soap, and then I was told people say it's bar soap, and that sounds weird to me, but now I only say it because I prefer to say things the weird way. Do you, do you have a nice setup for your guests when they come over? Um, yeah. I let them go take a look at my soap shelves, and if they want something from that, I'm like, boom, have at it. Now, except for the fact that all of those have been rubbed over your body. Yeah. Isn't it bad for your skin to switch products so much? It absolutely is. I would not recommend most people switch soaps like I do. I have uh, fantastic skin. I'm like the Wolverine. May I? You sure can. Go for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's good. It's very soft. Do you ever get recognized? No, I've never been recognized. Really? I bet people are, are probably scared to say that they know you because it's weird to say I watch somebody that reviews soap. That would definitely be weird. In fact, I've been told don't talk about soap to other people. Like if you meet a woman, don't don't mention it. Couldn't disagree with your friends more. I find it very. Oh jeez. That's the thing about Hamptonality. It comes and goes. Favorite soap movie? Ooh, uh, Fight, Fight Club. Club. Oh my God. Second favorite soap movie. Ah. Uh, second favorite. Ugh. Nothing got you more upset than the Kirkland signature. I put this on parts of my body that I can't describe to you, and I experienced a terrible burning sensation. And I have to unfortunately give it the double bird. I remember describing it as a freshly mopped McDonald's bathroom floor for the aroma. Oh. Yeah, that's not good. A man, not in college, you're a man now. What should he be spending on a bar of soap? But I want to say, you know, 5 to $15. Most guys probably use what their mothers got them as teenagers. Then I'd still be using Suave. Cheap garbage shit. I do have a body wash for quitters like myself. It's from Suave. What's grosser, Irish Springs or Irish women? Well, I kind of like Irish women, so I'm definitely going to go to the Irish Spring. Oh, I brought some of my hand soap. I wouldn't mind you reviewing. What aren't you going to talk about the light label first? That's so much, oh, bro. Yeah. Jesus. Okay, well, so you took it off already. Well, I thought we'd... Yeah. Okay, you go start over. And don't you waste so much of my fucking hand soap. Okay, Aesop, uh, it's kind of a plain Jane-looking bottle. Okay, I'm going to give this a pump here. Go ahead, a single pump, single please. Pump. Oh, yeah, you can feel a little bit of exfoliation in the hands. Uh-huh. Some creaminess to it right here. I wouldn't mind using this on my entire body. Well, let's not get carried away. Now, 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 now smell your hands. Yeah, there's still a light fragrance. That's pretty nice. What is your review? Uh, it was different. I liked it. Maybe it's like a gift or something. You'd be happy if that, was, if that was a gift? Oh, I would love that as a gift. Okay. Yeah. Good to know. Gun to your head. You have to use one bar of soap for the rest of your life. Damn. Boy, that's tough. I think I would go Dove White. I would like to introduce you to the Dove Beauty Bar. Yes, take a look at that. Number one, dermatologist approved. Boom, see that right there? Do you feel cursed that you can't review shampoos? Man, that, that is a tough one. What's the best bar of soap to put in a sock to beat someone with? Ducanon. Ducanon would be great for sock beating. Have you ever done speed reviews? Um, no, I've never done a speed review. Let's put 60 seconds on the clock and see how many hotel soaps he can review. Uh, what clock? Don't worry about it. Holiday Inn. Small bar, scent-wise, eh, it's okay. It's sort of like a chemical smell. Red Roof Inn. I like the packaging. It looks a little bit better. Smell? Well, it smells actually like Holiday Inn soap. Motel 6. Motel 6. Yeah, geez, this, this is like an ugly-ass bar. It doesn't smell like anything. Great Wolf Lodge. Wow, this looks nice. Have you ever been to Great Wolf Lodge? I have not. It's a water park inside. I would describe this as creamy. Oh, there's some exfoliation in this bar, too. La Quinta. Ooh. Ugly packaging. Kind of smells a little bit like Play-Doh. Sandra Cedar Ranch. I like the look. Clear bar, it's kind of unique. Oh, Super 8, wow. Uh, you know what, that actually looks kind of nice. San Francisco company on here. San Francisco? Yeah. There's no San Francisco Super 8. This is America's best value in. I ripped this off the wall, try that. Um, very fruity, very fruity. Here you go, Hojo. Oh uh, yeah, this is the Motel 6 soap right here. You tell me Hojo is stealing soap from Motel 6? Yeah. Travel Lodge. Travel Lodge, boom. This is extremely plain. Hampton Inn, guess what? It says French milled. Ooh. Uh, let's see about that. Do you like those balls? I do like the nubs. They feel good on your skin when you're washing up. I've got to review this one. This, this is a good one. It smells like cheddar. Yeah, you got a good nose. That's my jacuzzi cheese. Do you ever go to Vegas? 
Oh yeah, all the time. I work at the Mirage. Uh, I'll be there. Just check the calendar. If you stay in the villas, they give you molten brown. Oh damn. Full bottles. Go ahead and review that bad boy. Yeah, man, this smells great. Yeah, it's got pepper. Wow, I just want to take a shower right now. Give me, give me, give me, give me some. Boom, take some of that right there. Thank you. That stuff smells so good. You're the real deal, Marvin. With your love of soap and urban look, it's a no-brainer that you should be the new old spice guy. It dries out your skin, but gets you clean. Old Spice, a decent choice. I am so horny. Come see me at the Luxor! <laughs> Cut. <laughs> How long was that? Hello everyone, this is Running on Empty. Food review. So today we'll be reviewing the new Domino's pan pizza. So we'll have to see how that's going. So first, let's pick out a slice here. How about, nah, how about this one here? I'm expecting a lot of good stuff out of this pizza, so let's give it a shot. It's very good. It's pretty doughy, but I don't mind that. Now, if you're really big into thin crust pizza, I don't think you'll like this that much. But if you're, you like regular pizza, maybe even a little doughy deep dish pizza, then you're going to like this. I guarantee you. Today, on Park's well-known, I'm rolling out to Changwon, South Korea, where they are ching chang chonging up an American classic served in a box at Domino's Pizza, location number 37895. I love this place. I brought in my main man, John, a food reviewer from New York. Help me chow down on some tasty za. Put it there, John. Boom. Get in here, John. You shrinking? Hey, okay. that's how I like it. You got little Benjamin Buttons going on. <laughs> Let's get to dating. How many videos have you made, John? Around 500. 500? Yeah, 500. That's serial killer level. Have you always <laughs> seen yourself as a food critic? Believe it or not, no. It started out in 2011 with energy drinks. So before mm, yeah, that- Yeah, I remember your energy drinks. And then you, you went cold turkey on energy yeah. drinks. Why is that? Well, with energy drinks, only a certain market of people can really choo at least choose to drink energy drinks. Yeah, trash, skaters, and truckers. <laughs> Favorite <laughs> topping on a pizza? Pepperoni. Pepperoni. You can't go wrong with pepperoni. I'll tell you what my favorite topping is. Basil. Basil? Oh, I love basil. You give me some good basil. Uh, that's good basil right there. You gonna smell that at home? <laughs> this is what I do. I take a little bit of basil. <laughs> hold it right like that. Hold it. You eat cold pizza the next morning? I'm not really a leftovers kind of guy. What are you doing with all this extra pizza? Because you're, you're buying large pies. Usually, believe it or not, I'll be able to eat most of it. I don't believe it. I do, I mean most You're e so thin, you have a high metabolism? High metabolism and you also take you know, good walks you know, and try to be active. What's the worst thing you've ever reviewed? Well, it was from Taco Bell. No, no, you're talking to a former spokesperson of Taco Bell, okay? I'm still a company man, I love your products. Tread lightly. So what I did is I decided to review their grilled stuffed nacho. It's a big, you know, kind of tortilla that they kind of shape in a triangle. But they fill it with cheese Cat sauce. Cat shit is what they fill it with, probably. I'm like. kidding, Taco Bell. But they fill it up with all this, this cheese sauce, you know, meat. You don't have to do that for meat. Rumor has it that, you know, the meat they use in, in Taco Bell is like only 25% real meat. And I will slap you right now. Well, I, I said rumor, rumor has it, so I'm, I'm identifying that it's a rumor, not fact. You know? Okay. You, do you walk around in your neighborhood dressed dapper, or is that just for the reviews? I, I wear a suit and tie every single day. You don't own just a, just a pair of uh, jean cutoffs? Not one pair. What hair products do you use, like a pomade or a motor oil? Believe it or not, I use Brill Cream. It's kind of a combination of the two. Let me touch this. Do it. See, it's oh, got it's a softness soft. to it. Yeah. It's a lot softer than I thought it was going to be. You know Chaz Dean? Yeah. He says you shouldn't even shampoo your hair. He's got a new product. It's not shampoo. I don't know what it is. Chaz Dean, if you're watching, and hell, I know you are. 
why don't you go ahead and send me some of that shampoo that's not shampoo? <laughs> What's the best fast food restaurant for a first date? Five Guys. I'd have to say that. If I find out two months from now that Five Guys has given you a kickback, I will drive to New York and give you one of these. <laughs> and if you're lucky, you won't get one of these. What is it? Is this salt? Is that salt? Salt? I'm gonna fold one. I... This is bananas, and this time, bananas is good. You ever see those Van Damme movies? Some people are just born to cook and talk. She's spreading sauce like a boss. Is there cumin in there? That looks good. It's a pretty unique looking pizza. Got a, got a good variety of toppings. Never had one like this before. Y'all see what I like about it right here. First of all, it's right out of the gate, okay? Second of all, it took a roll right down to Flavortown. But before it got to Flavortown, it stopped at Delicious. Flavor said, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get on the bus by the name of Tasty. Shook his hand, said, no. Right on like a plate. Very good. Awesome stuff. It's just around the corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, right, right there, we, we, we had a little hiccup. Um, Puke town. Right in the heart burn <laughs> city. That, that made it sound incredible. You, get, get, you give it your shot. All right, yeah, let's see how it is for me. Here we go, it's got a few bites in this. <laughs> you take your time. Of course. All right, the pizza itself, I mean, certainly has That's a... all the time we have. <laughs> well, I'll see you next time as I head for more parts well-known on chains, courts, and cafeterias. On delay! Yo, it's me, Dead Carpet, and this is Dead Carpet Energy Drink Review. Today I'm going to be reviewing the brand new Fruit Punch Rockstar Recovery. Aw, uh, yeah. This looks pretty weird, like a red rocket. Mm, LOL. Really refreshing, very sweet. If you can get past the taste, it's pretty good. I give this a 6 out of 10. You see more videos since we're watching. See you guys later. Peace out. <laughs>
but still pretty good. I feel like I just want to chug the whole can right now. How many videos have you made, Dalton? I made over 2,000 videos, but only around 900 and something of them were energy drink reviews. How often are you doing a video right now? Well, I was doing them like weekly, but now there's been hardly any drinks for me to review. Uh-huh. So now I've been doing them like every two or three weeks. We talk about your name, Dalton. Yo, it's me, Dead Carpet, and this is Dead Carpet Energy Drink Reviews. You go by Dead Carpet. Now, how did you come up with that name? I just wanted a name that sounded cool to me and that was like easy to remember. And you came up with Dead Carpet. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you're laughing a little bit. What does that mean? I don't know. Is a live carpet available? I just didn't pick that. All right, Dead Carpet. Easy to remember and you like it. Yeah. Do you know where taurine originally comes from? Think the bull? It's ox bile. Mm -hmm. Oh, how do they stumble across that ingredient? I don't know. What's your favorite energy drink of all time? That's a hard one. I'm sorry. <laughs> I really like um, the Pipeline Punch Juice Monster, and I also like the Rockstar Hardcore Apple. Okay. What's the worst tasting energy drink? There's this one beet flavored energy drink I got at this one, like natural marketplace. Oh God, I'm already about to gag. I have to be a man and just do it. It smelled really bad and it tasted really bad. <laughs> Beets yeah. are good for you though. Mm -hmm. They also uh, change the color of your poo. Mm -hmm. Just a heads up. Yeah. Okay, you already knew that. Mm. Behind you, if you look in there, have you reviewed every one of these? I haven't had the Go Girl or the Reds. We're gonna have to send you home with a couple Go Girls and Reds, because I'd like to see those videos. Kombucha. Aw oh, yeah, kombucha. A lot of people pronounce it kombucha, and they would be correct. First of all, that stuff tastes disgusting. Yeah? You said it tasted okay. It's actually decent, but um, it's not that bad, but it's still a little bit bad. Are you drinking more of it now? Mm-hmm. That was it? Yeah. What's your thoughts on water? I think it's okay. It keeps you alive and stuff. It's healthy. <laughs> all right. Are you worried all these energy drinks are destroying your sperm count? Mm, sometimes. <laughs> yeah, you know what extends is. You know, makes your dick bigger. Makes you come more. Maybe jacking off later. You also make music. How's that going? Yeah, it's pretty good. I don't care what you say. I'm not gonna stay. Set the dress. Set the dress. Who are some of your musical influences? Well, I really like Michael Jackson. Please. And I really like Lady Gaga and Troy Sivan. Why do you think Michael Jackson is still alive? And this is my long-awaited series premiere of Michael Jackson Death Hoax Theory, this is episode number one. This is episode number seven, number thirteen. Well, on like his album cover, it said like alive on his lips. If you look close and zoom in, and that's it. That's the reason. Mm -hmm. oh. And there are some other reasons too. Oh, what were the other ones? Well, there was this one guy named Peter Pan Pyt. He had like his voice sound similar to him, uh -huh. and he created his Twitter account the day before he died. That's suspicious. Yeah. How'd you come up with your signature sign off? Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Peace out. See you guys later. Peace out. Well, I was watching this one other YouTuber's videos. He said, like, peace at the end of his videos, but I wanted to be a little bit different, so I said, peace out. And then did you do a double hit? Yeah, it's like two hits and then peace. Two hits and peace. Mm -hmm. It's pretty good. Peace out. The hacks over at Five Hour Energy have been thinking too small. That's why I've created 55 hour energy. I've secretly been working with the Koreans on creating the most potent energy drink of all time. I just need your help with one secret ingredient. What's that? The most caffeinated substance known to man. Dalton's blood. No thanks, I'm out of here. Peace out. Haritajita! <laughs> It's not a little bad, it's a lot bad. I'm not a fan, peace out. <laughs>
just in case if stuff gets too fire. That's nice. Oh, oh my gosh. I look insane, but this is so good. They're talking about everything. That's what I like about this album. But yeah, I really enjoyed this one. Probably gonna be on the albums of the year. Eight out of 10. And I will see you in the next episode. Bye. My man, you got that new little Uzi? No, you should check out, you should check out Spotify. You get every song that's ever been made. It's absolutely wonderful. Then why you want a record store? Well, this is gonna hire me with this stupid face. Hey, Daniel. Look what the cat dragged in. Hey, Rory. Sorry, buddy, you gotta leave your backpack at the door. Store policy. It's just the Rory essentials, including the spritzer, just in case if things get too fire. You can bring the bottle, but you leave the bag because every kid goes through a shoplifting phase. My first question is to you, why do you spell your name wrong? I see your name and my brain almost explodes. I don't understand it either. I write it incorrectly all the time. You do? Yeah. Okay, that makes me feel a lot better, I'll yeah. be honest. Ask my parents. Are they good parents? Yeah, they're great parents. Which one do you like more? I mean, I don't really like either. What? I mean, I don't like either more. Oh, phew, yeah, I should've yeah, let yeah. you finish there. That just yeah. sounded awful at first. Yeah. Is your father Michael Rappaport? I don't believe so. How long have you been listening to music that's not appropriate for you? Probably ever since, like, my mom showed me A Tribe Called Quest. Did she let you listen to that? Yeah. At what age? I'm not sure, like, way too early, though. Like five, six? <laughs> Probably, like, seven or eight. I let my kid listen to Tupac, but he's seven months, it didn't matter. Well, actually, actually I think there's psychologists to say that it will affect him, but I'd like to see what it does. How old are you right now? 13. How old were you when you started making your first reaction videos on hip-hop music? 10, 11 and a half or something. What was the first video of yours that got extremely popular? The Lil Yachty one. Oh, I like this. Your flow, though. But that was like kind of midway into my YouTube videos and stuff. Are you making money off of it now? Uh, I am, yeah. Are you getting to keep it? Yeah, I hope so. What do you mean you hope so? Are you unaware? Are the checks coming to you? I mean, it's kind of split, but most of it goes to me. Are you paying taxes? <laughs> Not yet. Oh, man. You really are in the rap game. Yep. Oh. Now, when you're alone in your house listening to a music, there's no hate in your heart. The N-words repeated multiple times. Are you singing it to yourself or out loud? No, I tend to not use it. You tend to not use it. I do not use it. Definitively, you do not use it. I do not use it at all. It's a tough one because I will say, as a fellow person that enjoys hip hop music and has no hate in their heart at all, when they sing it in rap songs, it does sound cool. I'll die on that sword. <laughs> On Instagram, you're known as Young Dr. Pimple Popper. Yeah. Do you know that the original Dr. Pimple Popper was made famous because of me and my show? Oh, really? Yeah. Thanks to my sexy Asian fingers, the results are instant. And the explosive release feels better than the best orgasm. You ever watch her do that stuff? I've seen it multiple times and I don't like it. Why did you gravitate toward that name? Or is that a name that you're not letting people know that it is yours? I came up with a little rhyme, the pimp with the pimples, and I thought it was funny. Although a pimp is kind of a derogatory term and, yeah. and, and a little misogynistic. Uh, yeah. we'll, we'll get into that later. Yeah, I was just trying to be lighthearted with it. I like that. So far, yeah, my dad's digging it. I think it's cool. Yeah? I think uh, it's really cool. Uh, Were your parents worried about you posting videos online in today's age of a bunch of creeps? Yeah, at the start they were kind of worried about like if my location would get leaked and I'm sure they still are. What's your home address? Oh, no, um, I'm kidding. No. <laughs> Let somebody just walk you into a trap? What's wrong with you? <laughs> Who's the next artist to blow up? Amine, he's already kind of gone bigger. He has that kind of unique sound that I could hear on the radio, but still is kind of like out there and fun to listen to. Have you ever listened to somebody that, that people don't know about and be like, this person's gonna be huge, and then six months, a year from now, they do become huge? Yeah, Slow Tie, he's starting to get more and more popular songs. Have any of these rappers ever tried to contact you or gun you down? Yeah, I mean the first half, not gun me down, Good. but they've contacted me Mostly like positively though. Okay. Who's good live? I'd say probably JPEG Mafia if you want to have something really hardcore. I want something where I can eat and sit down. Hmm. I mean. I may be 85 years old. <laughs> Ooh, that vocal effects, like that distortion. I'm like a miss. 
who has the best fits in the game? And part B of that question, explain to people what fits is. Fits are outfits. I okay. mean, it depends like what you're wearing because if it's not a good outfit, in my opinion, then I don't think it's a good fit. But I'd say probably best fits in the game. A lot of people from Brockhampton, I get inspired by what they wear. Dominic Fike, I like a lot of what he wears. So many names to remember. Yeah. I don't know why you do this. You haven't said like three words that I've understood yeah. this whole time. <laughs> I'd love for you to react to some of my favorite albums. Okay. All right, your parents would never let you listen to Two Live Crew, but your Uncle Dan has no issue. So I'd like to introduce you to Uncle Luke. I don't know if they make a clean version. They made a clean version, it'd sound like white noise for an hour and a half. Let me tell you this album. Okay. Oh, everybody hates on this guy. But Nelly, country grammar. Man, talk about fire. Let me take you to the other side. You know an underrated uh, track, deep cut on this one? Batter up. You're gonna need to get that spritz ready because this album is hot shit. <laughs> Bone Thugs and Harmony, E 1999 Eternal, one of the best selling rap albums of all time. Mo murder, mo murder, mo murder, mo murder, mo murder, mo murder. Right in front of Salt and Pepper is very necessary. Speaking of Cleveland, MC Brains. Strange shit, strange shit, strange shit. Heard of it? I have heard of his name, but I haven't listened to this album. Oh heard some my of his goodness. Other songs. Uchi Coochie. Oh yeah, I've heard that one. Oh, you've heard it? I heard it. Oh, you only do reaction videos to rap? Mostly rap, but I've done reaction videos to Black Midi. They're like an experimental rock. Get that headset back on. I got something perfect for you. Okay. Okay? 98 Degrees Christmas album. Oh. To get in the spirit, I start listening to this baby around August. Don't let the name fool you, 98 Degrees. This one is piping hot. And Wu-Tang, because after all, Wu-Tang is for the children! So I smell smoke, Daniel. Yeah, that shit's fire. No, there's a real fire in here. Mm, let it burn. I need the insurance money for tattoo removals, but you need to get out of here. There's nothing cops love more than profiling redheads for arson. Although an afternoon juvie might give you some much needed street cred. <laughs>